G'day Mr Fitz here, hope you're going well. This short video I'm going to show you how to understand third angle orthographic projections. So following on from my early video where you learn about orthographic projections, the idea of a projection or orthographic projection is to be able to view a three dimensional view in two dimensions. Now in Australia and I believe also the UK and a lot of other countries around Europe, this is the symbol that you will see to represent what we call a third angle orthographic projection. So this is a unique way of drawing this in two dimensions. Um, and I said it's a unique way in Australia and Europe and the UK that we use. I quite like this version. It's easy for me to understand and hopefully in my video you'll make some sense of it. So over here we've got a three dimensional projection. This is an isometric view of this particular shape. Now, to help us remember from my 3D video, 30 degrees, that's an isometric view. That's how we can tell. Now, if we draw a box around this, so imagine we, we put a glass cube around this particular shape. So I'm going to draw that cube, help us visualise this. And there's also going to be one at the back here. So picture this inside a glass cube and you're looking at it. Now you've got like a top of your cube, the front of your cube, you've got, it might be on the right side of your cube, left side, a bottom and a back. Now, just as we learned earlier with orthographic projections, the way that third angle works is the same as my earlier video. We need to visualize this across here in two dimensions. So let's, let's imagine that the corner of this glass box here is a hinge line. So we're going to take that first square here and we're going to drag it over here. So let's draw it in two dimensions. So we're looking directly at the front of our glass cube. Now I'm going to unfold this box, so on that hinge line I'm going to take the top and I'm going to draw it directly above the front here. So imagine that folding flat. Now if I kick this wing out here of my glass cube along this hinge line, I'm going to get this view from this side. And the back side here, I'm going to fold that out as well to get that side. Now, if I fold the bottom down as well, I'm going to get a view here. And I'm still left with the very, very back. And the back I could draw up here or down here. It depends how I fold it. So the idea of these views is that I'm going to draw what I see when I'm looking directly at the object in the box. So from the front view here, my... 3D shape is going to look like so. I'm looking directly at it. Now if I project that on the top view, I'm going to see just a rectangle looking down from the top. And don't forget this edge here as well. The key here that these should always line up as well. On this side view here, if I fold that out, I'm looking at this angle here. It's going to look like so. And don't forget that step. You're going to see that step there if you're looking at it from the side. From the other side, if I imagine looking at from this direction of my glass cube, I'm going to see a rectangle. Am I going to see this step though? You're not. You won't see this step because you're just going to see the back face of this object. What we can do in technical drawing is use what's called a hidden line. That is done with dashes. So that should line up across here with the step. So I could show that step with a, what's called a hidden line. Directly below, if 
I'm looking from the underside of my shape here, I'm going to see a rectangle. And similar to this view, the step here, looking from underside, won't be visible. So I could, if I want to, draw a, a dash line that lines up through here. Now, this last view is a little tricky. We don't always have to show this view. If we did unfold that back face down, what I'll actually be seeing is this is going to actually be upside down. Right, so this view gets a bit tricky to understand, but I'm hopeful that from these views here you can follow how that's been unfolded. Cool. That's three third angle orthographic projections. Again, this is a symbol. You'll often see this symbol at the bottom corner of what we call the title block of your drawing. So this just means that however the views are laid out, this is the way we need to see it in this manner here of how we unfold it. Typically on your drawing, this isometric view is drawn up here. So that should really be there. And that is a typical technical drawing in third angle projection. Cool. All the best.